Hey guys, uh, your uh, coordinator is your position coach, and I just want to get y'all's thoughts on working with Travis. You know, what's that like? Uh, Coach T. Will, you know, he's a high energetic guy. He brings energy to the room, like he said uh, previously. And just working with him, like, he wants the best out of us, and uh, he demands it out of us, and that's what we want to give to him. And uh, as a defense, you know, he's just a great guy overall. Outside of football, you know, he talks. He's big on family, and he's big on his faith, like he said. And uh, he's just really, you know, just a great guy overall, just somebody that you want to, you know, look up to as a role model. Yeah, I think the benefit of having, you know, the linebacker coaches, your DCs, you know, he, he want his guys to make plays. So I feel like, you know, with him being our linebacker coach, that obviously, you know, it's going to help us out. He's going to put us in position to make a lot of plays. And, you know, just outside of football, like Pooh said, he's a family-oriented guy. You know what I'm saying? Good for this program. Great, actually. Um, you know, we've enjoyed him. I know he enjoyed us, and, you know, we've just been having fun. He brings a lot of energy. You know, he's always, always has a smile on his face, always welcomes us in with great energy. So just having him as the defensive coordinator and the linebacker coach, I feel like that brings a lot of a lot of energy to our defense, a lot of physicality also. You played here in the opener last year. What do you remember about the day and maybe what attracted you to actually come here? Well, it was a, it was a great atmosphere. It was, the, it was a big crowd, you know. It was good ball also. So being able to play in that atmosphere, I feel like, and make plays, I feel like that attracted me to come here. Starting with the bowl, you, you played with the – Played up and and now with Pooh being out for a little while, playing with the ones a good bit. What have you maybe picked up during that time? Um, you know, just coming off the bowl game, um, starting definitely a confident booster, you know, and definitely a confident booster coming into this um, spring and summer. You know, I just feel like it put me in a good position, you know, and I just honestly just been taking <laughs> every opportunity every day and just coming and approaching, it, you know, what I'm saying try to approach it like a pro, like my coaches tell me, and just. You know what I'm saying? Not give up any opportunities and just have fun and control what I can control and take it from there. So. Uh, well, all of you, but Chris, just talk about the uh, got young guys behind you guys like Spence, Sanford, Carson Dean, and those guys, how they're coming along and Antonio Greer. I know he's off today, but just how are they coming along? Oh yeah, them guys have been doing a great job just picking up on the schemes and things of that nature. But the thing that I like about them is that, you know, nothing really set them back. You know, as a freshman, you come in, you know, people are timid, things of that nature. They don't really know how, you know, they trying to translate from high school to college. But the thing that I like, especially like with Brad Spence and like Carson Dean and, and guys like that, is that those guys, it didn't, it didn't take no time for them to like translate over. You know, like Brad Spence, he's a, you know, he's a big dude, kind of big dude, you know, but thing I like about him is his physicality and the way that he gets to the ball. Like he has like, you know, just that that mean to get to the ball and things like that. But those guys, you know, in that nature, they they gonna provide depth for us, but it's also helpful for the team and things like that because they know just as much as we do. You and Jordan both are young guys, but kind of the leaders in the room because the most experienced just talk about the leadership that you're providing to both of them. Um, you know, with me being a sophomore it's kinda of new. Um, but, you know, it's kind of just a role I took on. But, you know, I enjoy it. You know, they look up to me in a way, uh, even though I'm a young guy. So it's kind of weird. But, you know, as far as the younger guys go, like those guys have just been sponges. You know, and all I can do is just, you know what I'm saying, tell them what I went through last year and, you know, just basically the ins and outs of it and, you know what I'm saying, just how to enjoy this and, you know, approach it every day and how can you, you know, live a look like that. So, as far as those guys go, the young guys, they've been very attentive, you know, and it's been good being a leader to them. And, you know, as far as Greer, like, the thing about Greer, he, like, he came in and, like, like, you know, Greer older than all of us, but, you know, he didn't come in, like, try to step on no toes. Like, we all just, you know, came in together, and it's like it's been just like a collaboration, like, not so much a competition, but, you know, everybody working together, and it's just been fun. Everybody been, you know, soaking up game from each other, and I think that's just been the – it's made us closer overall. Yeah, and the, and the thing about that is, like, even though that we're young, but we still had uh, experience from last year, things like that. You know, we, it was times that we were sprinkled in and things like that, so we know how to correlate and, uh, like, game day atmospheres and things like that. We know what Coach Pittman wants, what he likes. We know what Coach T. Will likes and things like that. So just so, just applying those things every day. And like Crook said, those guys being sponge, man, made it easier for them, made it easier for both of us. Gene, with the scrimmage last Saturday, some injuries and stuff, it made a good opportunity to put a lot on you and see how you perform. 
What was the takeaways kind of after watching the film on, on how you performed in the scrimmage and, and what do you think about it? Well, I see. So I really haven't played since my since our my December December game with Cincinnati. So just really being out there, get the, getting back to the field for the game. And, you know, I feel like once it kicked in, I was able to, like, make plays and be with my teammates and have a, have a good defensive defensive scheme going out to the scrimmage. So that really, like, helped me. I feel like it helped my confidence also as coming back into coming back into the game. How did you talk? You touched on a little bit about you know coming down here before, but how did it work out when you entered the portal with Arkansas reaching out to you? What was that first interaction like, and ultimately what what sealed it for you? Well, really, just being around Coach Coach T. Will, getting down here, being around the defensive staff, and just seeing how they how they roll and how they operate, and just knowing the scheme that I'd be playing in, and knowing the energy that they bring, that's something that really like sealed the deal for me on like a lot of other schools. So just being around that. What what was the first the first reach out, the first contact interaction? What coach T Will? Yeah. What, but what what did he say? Like what was the do you remember like what was like kind of the first thing that he, he said to you? What was his approach? He's like, he always said he always calls us big dogs, so he was just excited for, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just excited. Excited to get on the phone with me uh-huh. and get to know me. For any of y'all, uh, Coach Williams was in here earlier talking about how he wants to take it more offenses. Like, what are what are the coaches doing to or saying to y'all to instill that kind of thought process? Oh, you know, well, sure. It's really like you know, T. Will likes to start fast. He he don't like for you know for us to just sit back and and they they throw the first punch. No, nah, we we go out there, we go after them and things like that. We want to welcome any type of uh, physicality, uh, speed, anything. We want to welcome all that to us. And things of that nature. So just starting fast, it, that, that's really, you know, just the bottom line of it and just staying on top of our game and just, you know, playing razor back defense. I think it's an aggressive type of play style, you know. Get out them quick, fast, you know. Piggybacking off that, I mean, what's, I, I, are you, is there added emphasis in positional drills and fall camp on, you know, blitzing and stuff that the, as, as linebackers this year, just given maybe the more aggressive scheme? Definitely, just playing loose. Like don't like he always tell us, you know, be a ball player. Okay. Don't don't be a robot. Things like that, you know. Just just having that that, that killer instinct, you know. Just going out there and just going out there and playing our brand of football, playing our brand of football with confidence and poise. Yeah, that's just holding everybody accountable. I think that's the biggest thing, you know. I think that you know when you hold everybody accountable, like you know, it's you gonna get results. And I feel like with him, he demands it every day. So. You know, him demanding that every day, like, I feel like he's just, you know, saying made us a better overall, no doubt. Yeah, guys, really for any of you, um, Landon told us in media day that Coach uh, Williams was playing, was DJing in the locker room. What have you guys <laughs> seen on that? And, and what, yeah, you guys are already laughing, so I'll just let you guys talk about that. Uh, nah, every, every <laughs> lead, we going to come here to some music. Like, no matter what it is, it might be some gospel, some rap, anything, but we're going to come in to some music like he wanted high energy, like, high level, like, just everybody, like, I don't know, just a big party, you know, ready to, like, have fun and play football. Like, it don't get no better. <laughs> and the thing that I like about that is, you know, it just bring in, it, like, there's nothing wrong with having fun with what you're doing yeah. and things like that. You know, just coming in and you seeing guys, you know, hype for practice and he playing songs and he's up there hype and things like that. It just gives you more confidence, like, going out there knowing, like, okay, it's okay, mess up on this one, but mess up full speed and the next play, you know, be on top of your stuff and things like that. Like, there's nothing wrong with having fun with what you're doing because if you're not having fun, you're not going to enjoy it. I feel like. Him, him having blasting music always and having that energy welcome us into the meeting room. I feel like that just gets us ready to practice and getting us all hyped and having that energy to go to practice. So. Thanks, guys. Jaheim, Coach Travis, um, you said that you're really detailed, take a lot of notes. I'm curious if you've always done that or did you pick that up you know, somewhere kind of along your, your, your playing career and, and then what, what kind of a skill set do you think you can bring to this room? Well, I have always took a lot of notes, but I have, I feel like I picked it up coming here because I transferred at May, so I had to learn a defense a whole lot quicker. I had to get accustomed to everything a whole lot quicker, so just being able to take notes on both positions, I feel like that that has helped me, and also studying a lot, watching a whole lot of film, that has also helped me a lot. And the skill set I feel like I bring to the room is we'll also always run into the ball, always being able to do a lot of different things, being like a versatile linebacker, be able to come off the edge and play in the box and cover. So that's skill set I feel like I bring into the room. 
Do you know, this may be an off the wall question, but you know, Jeremiah Davenport played basketball since Cincinnati. He transferred here. Yeah. And a lot of times athletes in different sports, you know, eat together or whatever, see each other working out. I just wondered, do you know Jeremiah at all? Yeah, I, I know him. I've been knowing him since high school. We grew up around each other, so he he, he played basketball. I also played basketball with him, so. Yeah, you guys ever play like high school ball against each other? Yeah, right? yeah, we yeah. definitely did. I just wonder what, what, what you think about Jeremiah being here too, and just I don't know, just what do you think about him as a person, as a, as a athlete? He's a great athlete. So, like I said, I've been knowing him for a long time. So, just having a familiar face while he entered the portal with me, so that helps me a lot. I feel like. What's the worst song uh, Coach Williams has had on the locker room that you guys walked in? I don't think he done had a bad oh, yeah, song. Oh, yeah. oh, really? Every yeah. time I come in, like, he playing some heat. He no, playing some heat. It don't matter what he playing, we always jamming to him. Like, yeah. so you know, I ain't really just seen, like, a like a bad song. Like, nah, we need to change that. <laughs> yeah. he, he ain't had no misses yet. So. Nah. <laughs> it's a long season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once we get toward, like, you know, into the season, you know, people start to <laughs> so yeah, start, start, start falling <laughs> off. Start playing the same jam. So, we're going to see. That was a great job.